Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video today. We are going to be talking about some charts, going over some um, big caps. Uh, big week, we do have uh, Feds and Powell on Wednesday, all on Wednesday. Uh, just a couple of things to know about. Wednesday is a big day. We do have Apple earnings on Thursday. And we do have a lot of big setups for this week. So a lot, a lot of volatility will be coming later this week um, after Wednesday. Now, we're going to be doing a couple of different tickers going over the charts. And we'll just jump straight into it. Um, we do have SPY. Uh, we do have a nice breakout from this pullback right here. One, two, three. Nice reversal, and we do have a candle today that formed a gravestone doji, which is a bearish reversal candle. It's a doji candle, basically, but the close and the open was pretty much almost flat at the bottom of the candle, which forms a gravestone doji candle. You can look, you can pause this video, and look it up real quick before you continue on this video. It's a bearish reversal indicator. Once again, we do have Powell and Feds on Wednesday, so it could be anything. This gravestone doji can be a false indicator, or this could be the real indicator for a reversal on Wednesday. We don't know yet, so I'm not gonna really. It's it's hard to apply fundamentals to technical analysis when both have different answers or both have different. Possible possible conclusions. So we're gonna put one aside and put the other on the other side, and we'll just stick to trading what we see and swinging what we see for now. So spy currently breaking above, breaking out over four fifteen, which is bullish. We held over it. We it looks good so far. We do have some good amount of room to four twenty first before I expect in my opinion, to see a pullback from there. Um, squeeze, short squeeze fired. Um, and we do have the SMA is pretty much flat. Pretty much all, um, right now it's pretty much parallel, I would say. And uh, we do have to get something moving in order for these SMAs to start moving because right now flat isn't what you want on the SMAs. That could be, it'll, we'll, we, will see, we'll, we will be seeing a long consolidation ahead. So if you prepare for that, if you have long-term calls or long-term puts, expect some long consolidation ahead. Um, so as long as 4.15 holds on SPY daily chart, I would be bullish and stay in bullish on as long as we're holding that and we will be seeing 4.20 next. Um, if we do break or pull back under 4.15, we will be retesting this 4.10 and um, a pullback. Below that 410, we'll see a farther pullback all the way to the 50 SMA, which is going to be here. That can that could happen. That could happen easily with FOMC on Wednesday. Lots, a lot of action can change on Wednesday or even Thursday as well. But right now, we're just going to stick with what we see. Um, next up is QQQ. Uh, very nice chart. Looks great. We do have a big wedge right here. I, I would say this is a big falling wedge. At the same time, it's really not. Um, we do have a, a multi-week consolidation breakout. Multi-week right here. Multi-week range inside this wedge. We do have a daily squeeze right here. Setting up for a bigger move ahead. Our side is looking good. Um, we have formed a nice um, higher highs over here. And we also and today also has formed a doji candle. So... This is also a um, um, decision candle or, or indecision, indecision candle, or uh, we can call it a um, indirectional candle, which means that we don't know what can happen from here for the next for the next candle here. This is not a bearish or a bullish um, candlestick. This means indecision, which means that we there's no decision for what can happen. Depends on... Um, what happens tomorrow, basically. So whatever candle that we close with, green or red, is is the direction that we will be going with. But again, we're going to put fundamentals to the side, just like what I said earlier. 
It's hard when both had a possibility of different conclusions, fundamentals, and technicals. But technical-wise, QQQ has a strong chart looking good above 320.80. And also, we do have a lot of room upside to 328, 329 if we can clear above 328. That 328 is a big resistance, and we can start pushing higher towards above towards this top of the trend line right here, which can go from 327 to 328 or even 329, depending on how FOMC goes on Wednesday. For tomorrow on Tuesday, I do expect that we see a choppy, choppy condition market and anticipation of Powell and FOMC on Wednesday, which will be the next day. So for tomorrow, I expect tropic conditions. Don't try to trade heavy and try to be a hero in whatever condition that we are in. Just sit sidelines and be patient, and we will get the better answer on Wednesday or even Thursday. Um, if KKQ does break back under 320.80, that will be a good area to enter puts for a pullback all the way down to this area, wherever this trend line is, and also wherever this 50 SME is because that would be a very nice retest of the SMA because that is normal and that is what we should have for a healthy pullback on QQQ. So I expect the pullback to be around 310 to 314, depending on when we will see this pullback. If it's going to be over here, which will be you know next week or two, the pullback can happen from anywhere right here at 315, 316, 317. If it happens tomorrow or somewhere around this week, it can go all the way from here to 312, 310, just so that we can touch that trend line and the SMA 50. Depends on when the pullback happens. But that's KKQ. Next up we have is Google. This is what we currently have precision in. This has a nice flag. I'm not sure what happened to my lines. Nice little flag right here. A little choppy-ish, choppy condition right here. But we do have a flag right here, a little mini um, consolidation or slash flag on um, Google. Google with an L, by the way. And we do have a big channel right here. Google has a nice squeeze setting up for a um, big move ahead. We had some earnings uh, last week and reaction was um, pretty much flat. Right now we're trying, we're attempting to break out over this 180.30 in order for a gap fill on uh, the daily chart to 110. Pretty simple setup, but I do feel, I do lean bullish on this one on um, Google. And um, sometime tomorrow, even Wednesday or Thursday, we should be able to fill that gap. And um, for safest expiration under options would be 512, May 12, or even the week after that, just to be safest. If you do have a weekly for this week, for May 5th, that will be very risky because we're going to be holding through Powell, FOMC, Apple earnings, which could shake up a lot in the markets. And then... That will be pretty much the three major keys that can crush your premium. Um, so uh, May 12th or the week after that is the safest way to go for this play right here on Google. We also have the SMA 50 crossing out possible on the SMA 200, which is going to be called the golden crossing. Very long, very bullish long-term um, crossover right there. So good sign for Google to move higher. Over 108.30 is bullish for gap fill to 110. Um, possible 112. If we do see a big move post Powell earnings and um, uh, FOMC. Um, let's move on to the next one. Media, this is a big one right here. We do have a multi-week consolidation breakout. This is this is one of the subs that I have not seen in a long time. Very long time. I would say two to three years. Um Back in 2019, 2020, when the markets were super bullish, and that was when the market was pumping every day, every every other every couple of weeks or so, we would have a uh, multi-week consolidation setup, just exactly like this: a nice uptrend, a slowdown, or a pullback or a consolidation like this right here, and then that would be forming a multi-week long squeeze setup right here, and then a beautiful RSI breakout, turning bullish right there. And then seeing something like this happen. This is something that I haven't seen in two to three years in the market. And this is exactly, um, this is the best setup you can find on NVIDIA. And um, with the markets lately, the past year or two, it's been very hard to see something like this because the market has been pulling back ever since and has been recovering slowly. 
but this one is pretty much almost back to all-time high um about 60 60-ish dollars away but this setup right here is very very clean we do have a lot of room upside on Nvidia and this one looks like it is just starting to break out right here so Number one, breakout over 282.50 consolidation range setup right here over this resistance right here from the highs on this um, area right here back in 2022 of March. And um, looks good for a move to um, 291, which we already hit. That was my target. <laughs> and after that, we do have room to 308, which is next resistance or target. Um, in order to get that, we would have to be clearing 291 first. That is number one for NVIDIA. So I do expect that to happen as soon as tomorrow, based on how tight we are inside the squeeze right now. The volume is picking up. The RSI is looking very good. So our, so NVIDIA right now, golden set right now. So keep an eye on this one. Very bullish about 291. This can see 300 and then 308.50 anytime this week so top setup right there golden setup keep an eye on this one next one is disney this will be the last one before we hop up right here this one has a nice little um nice little um uh trend line and then a flag a long flag extend a flag right here nice breakout on uh, last friday and then we do have a uh triple top setup right here uh disney but we do have a strong setup this time for disney to make this happen on this breakout. So over 102.40 with a nice squeeze setting up. Our side is pretty much higher in this area right here. And we do have the volume picking up a little bit, but today it was a little bit low because we were retesting the SMA 200. So keep an eye on it. Over 102.40, you can see a bigger breakout towards 105 or 106 for this week or even next week. The best way to go about this is by uh, expiration of a May 12th. That will be my opinion. That's my suggestion. It's up to you guys. If you want to follow, I don't care what you do. Please do not listen if you do not want to lose money. Um, don't blame it on me. This is all on your own responsibility. Um, but this is a great looking setup. I do like the way that Disney looks. Um, valid setup right there. Bullish. Uh, pretty simple, but at, above the SMA 200 is bullish. Um, squeeze. Forming right here is bullish. Our side looking good is bullish. Volume pick it up is bullish. And also a nice flag set up right here, right at the big resistance right here is also bullish. The reason why I, I believe that this will happen, uh, breaking out above the 10240 this time, um, is because of the way this setup looks right now. So um I like this one as well. Disney, Nvidia, and Google all look very well right now. Um, everything else right now looks pretty choppy. Nothing looks good. And also, I forgot to go over AMD real quick. So AMD has a nice little long pullback right here with the trend line. We have the SMA 50, which we broke above last Friday. Today, we opened above it, but pretty much sold off and tested the SMA 50 and also that 89 and then also the trend line. So three different key supports right here for AMD that we retested. And tomorrow we do have a good possibility of bouncing off this area and then try for 91.50 next. And then we can start moving higher towards 95.80, depending on how the market reacts to FOMC and Powell, as well as NVIDIA. Because usually when chips move, they all move together. Um, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please listen carefully when I'm doing stuff like this because there's a lot of key points that people miss and still ask me questions on even though when they watch the video but I'm sure they really didn't but please watch the video um if you guys stayed until the end thank you for watching the whole thing uh hope you guys make some money off some setups that I showed you guys uh for today uh I'll see you guys in the next video have a great day and take care